Alright. We got a we got a we got a knife to unbox here. I haven't looked at it yet, so uh we're just gonna jump right into this one. Welcome back by the way. Nice. Nice of everybody to join us. But we 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 got us a got us a well I'll I'll, I'll just say vintage because I'm young. We we have a vintage knife that we got off of eBay, and it appears to be in the original box. Let's see what we got here. Of course, it's not going to want to come out. It's a little beat up. It honestly is. It's it's a little beat up. But uh, yeah, I found this on eBay and nobody was wanting to buy it, so I bought it. Box is in uh, about the shape you would expect it to be in. That's a hen and rooster, guys. And that is one of... It's a hen and rooster. It's a German... German steel. Look that. German, German steel is what that is. It's German stainless. I mean, this really ain't a knife review. I'm just showing you what it bought because it's really freaking cool. So, look at that. It's a little off right there. I don't know about that. But that's probably why it's so dang cheap. I know it's not a knockoff. No, it's not a knockoff because I know a guy that has this same knife. Look at that, it fits good in the hand. These ones were, it's German, it's German stainless, but dude, I think these are the one of the ones that, yeah, made in, it's got the Toledo, Spain mark on it. Still an excellent knife. But I happen to have two of them. And they keep a good edge. Well, that's sharp. Yeah, look at that thing. That thing's freaking awesome. Yeah. It's literally about all I got for you today, but that'll be a nice carry knife. I don't know about the straight up and down crap, but. I can put her in the belt like that, and that works pretty freaking good. She's in good condition. That, that's a little crusty right there, though. That, that does have me worried a little bit, but not necessarily worried. It's just kind of crusty looking. But I bet you can buff that out really easy. Overall, in great condition. Doesn't look like it's been carried, really. Been carried too much, if at all. Boom. Anyway, we're going to just jump on there and show you that one today. Another German knife. And before anybody gets their panties in wad and says, well, that's not German steel, that's not German stainless. Well, it says German stainless right on the side of it. And rooster. I, it, it's assembled in... Toledo, Spain, but it's still German stainless. Weird, isn't it? But anyway, folks, y'all, we got us a new carry knife. It's gonna be really cool, really handy. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you on the next one.